Here we have a very common nuclear reaction. This is the fission of uranium. Um, so let's apply some of the basic conservation laws. So you can see that the uh, nuclear number here, 235 plus 1, 236, is equal to 139 plus 94 plus 3 times 1, also 236. And of course, if you look at the proton number, 92 plus 0, is the same as 57 plus 35 plus 0. Ah, so yes, so at least we conserve those. And this is a fission of uranium, okay? It's on the right side of iron 56, and so we expect there to be some energy released. So what we want to do now is we want to figure out how much energy this particular fission reaction, of course, can release. So how do we do that? Well, there are actually two methods, and we'll go through the first one now, and that is by conservation of mass energy. So the idea behind this is very simple. Basically, I'll have a certain amount of mass over here. I'll have a certain amount of mass over here. And of course, according to Einstein's mass energy equivalence, okay, we expect the mass over here to be slightly smaller, the mass of the products to be slightly smaller than the mass of the reactants. And hence, there was some mass destroyed, which means that that destroyed mass becomes this energy released over here. And so in summary, the energy released is simply equal to the mass or the total mass of the reactants, hold on, oh, total mass of the reactants minus the total mass of the products, okay, the difference between those, whole thing multiplied by C squared to change that into energy. That, of course, would be this over here. This energy is typically released most commonly in the form of kinetic energy of products okay, and also significantly as a gamma radiation.